the, the Senate's working on this stopgap uh, funding bill. The, you know, the deadline is Friday. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the level of confidence that uh, the president will be able to sign that extension in by Friday? And separately, has the administration been talking to the two Republican senators who uh, raised concerns, Senator, Brack, uh, uh, Senator Lee and uh, Blackburn? Uh, we, we are engaged with uh, a range of Democrats and Republicans, and certainly uh, we are hopeful that we will be able to sign this. Um, I would note, though, that I believe, and correct me if I'm wrong here, that one of Senator Blackburn's primary concerns is about uh, a relation to the, set, to the funding of crack pipes, is this correct, which is not an issue. So this is a this is an issue that what what is happening here is that's potential to hold up funding the government and important programs around an issue that is not an issue because we've been very clear that we are not providing funding for crack pipes. And then the Senate Banking Committee had planned to vote on your Fed nominees today. Yeah. Um, there was a hold up there. Republicans have objected to uh, Sarah Bloom Raskin's nomination. Um, what does the administration think of this delay? And is the administration going to provide any additional details to Senator Toomey about some of the issues that he's raised? Well, let me first say that this is in a very extreme step that's totally irresponsible in our view. Uh, it's never been more important to have confirmed leadership at the Fed to help continue our recovery and fight inflation. And obviously, they have a uh, unique role to play, an important, a vital role to play as it relates to inflation. And I think Democrats and Republicans have agreed on that for decades. So Republicans are out there saying, inflation's a problem. It's a huge issue. We agree. And then they're not even bothering to show up to even vote against these nominees to the Federal Reserve. What message is that sending to the American public? So uh, we, uh, and I would note just on Sarah Bloom Raskin, since you asked me about her as well, you know, she's one of the most qualified individuals to ever be nominated to the Federal Reserve. She's made uh, the strongest ethics commitments in the history of the Fed, uh, even as she's made extensive disclosures to the Banking Committee as a natural part of the process. Senator Toomey has continued to promote false allegations that have already been shot down by ethics experts, the Kansas City Fed, the founder of the of Reserve Trust, and Sarah Bloom Raskin herself. So we're going to continue to work with Chairman Brown on a path forward and look forward to the Banking Committee eventually holding a vote to commit these uh, to confirm these five nominees. Is, Go ahead. Is there any entertaining of other options if it stalls in committee? You know, there appears to be some question about whether the Senate as a whole can advance these nominations. Is that something you're exploring or is that something we, that you don't think you have the power to do? We are. You mean in terms of different legislative processes or different? There's some speculation that the, that the full Senate could uh, sort of skip the committee vote if it stalls out and bring them forward. Sure. Uh, I, do, I don't do you believe that the Senate has that power or do you have, does it have to go? Committee. Uh, our focus right now is on working with Chairman Brown on, on uh, moving these nominees through the committee. 